Cold case solved. Police arrest Keith Munns in a murder case that took place more than 30 years ago. And investigators say advanced DNA technology helped them do it. Fox Carolina's Jennifer Phillips is live outside the Greenville County Law Enforcement Center in Greenville with more on this case. So the victim in this case, Alice Ryan, her family waited more than 30 years to get answers. And now they say thanks to that advanced technology and DNA and the relentless efforts by investigators, they finally have some peace. These black and white pictures take Joe and his wife, Caroline Ryan, back to a painful time, October 1988, when they got a call from a pastor that changed everything. He saw that there was the yellow ribbons all around the yard. He said, Joe, yeah, something has happened at your mother's home. So I think you and Caroline need to get over there. Someone broke into Alice Ryan's home, Joe Ryan's mother, and stabbed her to death. His sister found her lying on the kitchen floor and their mother's car missing. It's been painful, of course, for all of the family. Investigators with the Greenville Police Department later found the car, but not the killer. It was just a matter of being able to say, okay, this is that, and I can't do anything about it. We try to push that thing, probably, and we frankly did not think we would ever see anything. Police say tips led them to dead ends, and the case went cold until November 2017. We should never give up hope. We should never give up our efforts. Uh, to try and bring justice uh, for those who are harmed. Two years ago, a DNA hit led investigators to Keith Munns, a convicted sex offender who lived in Georgia. Investigators say his saliva matched DNA found in Alice Ryan's car. He's now charged with murder, armed robbery, burglary, and possession of a stolen vehicle. We've just overcome by all these people up here that have kept on. One of those investigators, Don Ballou, a retired captain with the Greenville Police Department. It was uh, one of those things that uh, you just don't like to see. Here he is 31 years ago in a newspaper article. It's a reminder to me that there are uh, people out here that are victims of crimes and we just need to bring justice to those victims. And for the Ryan family, that means everything. We're just all very pleased and blessed. So investigators just arrested Munns just this past February, but they say they didn't want to announce the arrest because they wanted to make sure they had more evidence and witness statements in the case. Live in Greenville, Jennifer Phillips, Fox Carolina, the 5 o'clock news.